I do it because it's nice extra money, but also it's, I believe in democracy. Susan Brody has fulfilled her civic duty for more than a decade as an election judge. My biggest responsibility is transmitting the data. This year, many judges bailed at the last minute as the coronavirus began to hit Illinois hard. It had been a little scary because that was the first day they started shutting things down with COVID. It was nerve wracking. We didn't have gloves or masks. The roadie stuck it out from 6 a.m. until past 10 p.m. She waited for a check, but it never arrived. It's annoying. Remember, Rody did the work on March 17th. She was told the check went out April 24th, but it's apparently lost. And then she'd have to wait 30 days after that until the county could begin that process to replace the checks. The county told her she would need to get an affidavit notarized in person during the pandemic and then mail that in. Yes, the same mail that apparently lost her check. I guess it's in their mail room. I I don't know. Rody jumped through all the hoops. It's been nearly three months. She's still waiting for her money with no end in sight. She's tried many times to reach County Clerk Karen Yarbrough about this. Karen and all of her staff are getting paid over the last three months as they should be. Why aren't I being given the same respect? And it's not just me. That Rody knows from an email the county sent her. It has been a widespread problem this election because of the challenges the U.S. Post Office has faced, as well as shelter in place orders. More than 150 people have reported not receiving their check. This never happens. Come on, there's ways to solve this. Rody has that solution. Just send her a new check to replace the original one without all the red tape. If you're going to trust me with hundreds of votes, trust me with a $300 check. We had one last question for Rody. Will she work the general election in November? I don't know if they'll want me if this airs on TV. <laughs> Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News. A spokesperson for Cook County tells us it learned from the Postal Service that there are extreme delays up to eight weeks due to limited staffing. A postal spokesperson, though, insists he has not heard of delays like this and, quote, Chicago operations are running as normal. The county added electronic payment for election workers is simply not possible at this time, but it is looking at that option for the future.